Hey, it's Mike O'Dowd and Angel Cortez with USCCA, and today we're gonna be doing a vehicle ballistic lab. What we wanna show you guys is the damage that the cars take and what each caliber does to the car, which hopefully empowers you to make better decisions how to defend yourself and defend your family. Something to note on this is everyone's vehicle is different. Every car you use is gonna have different metal, different materials, so take this with a grain of salt. Hopefully it shows you the idea of where to be and where not to be when rounds start popping off. We're gonna start small and then we're gonna go bigger. So the first caliber we're gonna be using is nine mil. Be using a pistol as well. We have an AR-9. So you'll see a nine mil being shot from a rifle and uh, we'll see how it goes. Something to note on, on, on safety guys. If you're ever gonna try this at home, which we don't recommend, uh, we are professionals, believe it or not, uh, and the vehicles themselves are prepped for this. So we have the batteries taken out. We also have all the fluids drained. So in case we shoot in the wrong place, the car doesn't light on fire and the car doesn't like uh, explode in front of us. Angel's gonna shoot through the doorway. A common misconception is that the doorway is, is protection. Doorway can redirect bullets and small, small calibers it can, but we're gonna show you the damage it does to the door. And then I'm gonna have Angel shoot into the pillar. So this first pillar, which is structural steel, very strong. We're gonna have him shoot into there. And then maybe just one for good luck into this pillar here and uh, see how he does. All right. Angel, eyes and ears. All right, good, cease fire. All right, now I'm gonna do the same thing with, uh, with a pistol version of that nine mil, see if there's any kind, of, any kind of a difference. Put it through. All right, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. So the two nine mil rounds, We've got one exit wound, one exit wound. And it looks as though it was from the first one, from the rifle. The second nine mil hasn't gone through, it looks like. And there is an exit wound on the door. So there's an exit wound over here. So actually that AR-9 rifle punched through and through nine mil, but the nine mil pistol didn't. Let's see what the uh, pillars did. This is what pillars are designed to do. Uh, not stop bullets, I mean, but there's, they're, they're for protection. They're very strong. And this is the most classic thing we see. You can actually see the rounds lodged into the pillars. And that's, that's pretty typical of a nine mil, especially on these pillars. All right, so for the next test we're gonna do, we've got this Nighthawk Custom, it's a 45. The first rounds we're gonna be shooting are Ranger ammo, like 230 grain. It's a big, big bullet, but it's uh, law enforcement ammo. And then the second one we'll be doing is gonna be uh, more critical, like home defense, a Hornaday ammo. Remember, home defense ammo is not designed to penetrate so much as it is to take apart people, so it opens up. We'll see, typically that doesn't have the, the deepest penetration, but uh, you never know what happens with these cars. So that was the Ranger ammo. Now we're going with the Hornaday home defense. Take a look at what we got. With the home defense ammo, we have a through here. And then I'm seeing a streak across. I'm not sure if it went through the second door, but with the Ranger ammo, the law enforcement ammo, it went through the door, but then it got redirected. There's some hard plastic and metal here and it got redirected. And I'm not seeing exactly where it got redirected to. So there is nothing penetrated here, but there is a big dent here. And I don't remember seeing that earlier. I'm willing to bet that was the, uh, the round that pushed through, but it didn't actually penetrate. So that's interesting. And then this is pretty standard for the tests that we do. We've seen 45s, both of them clear as day. Neither one of them gets even uh, remotely as deep as a nine mil. They just stop right there. And you can actually keep these as a souvenir. So far, nine mil and 45, neither have penetrated uh, any of the pillars but both have penetrated the doors. The next test we're gonna be using the 5.56. So Modern Warrior built this rifle for us. It's a really great build. Amen 2 wanna thank them for donating some mags for this. They've actually been working out really, really well for us. 
Um, let's test out. We have a LWRCI upper and a brake. The muzzle velocity on this is, uh, is quite, quite fast. But let's see what it does to the door, the pillar, the trunk, and then obviously the roof, because that seems more fun to shoot that. Going in the trunk. Nice. Right off the bat, when he fired through the door, I noticed I saw the airbag move, so I know the round went through. This is the damage he did to the door right here. So I think that round actually stopped uh, somewhere in the debris field of uh, the steering column and all that. We may try another one just to see if it goes through and through. The 5.56 five, that hit the pillar went through, hit, redirected, came out. But the point is, is that round, it got redirected. It, it was completely stopped in the direction of travel. And that's pretty much what pillars tend to do. I wanna give it one more attempt on this just to get something a little more definitive. But let's take a look here at the trunk. The trunk, Angel fired straight through. The exit hole went through and then exited out here. So that's a pretty straightforward path further strengthening our argument that the back, the trunk, the bumpers, uh, not the best place to be. You always wanna be near the wheel well, something that's a little bit more sturdy. If you take a look at the roof, the rounds went completely through. Uh, you can see right there, all, both rounds went completely through into the driver, uh, who that would be. Just empowering you to understand like, well, my car can't take any kind of round from there. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do one more 5.56, five, and I'm gonna put it center through this column and just see what happens. Eyes and ears. All right, let's take a look. All right, and when we look on the other side, guys, it is smoking inside. There's smoke coming out, but there is not a single hole. In fact, there was no damage whatsoever on the inside. All right. Next one we're gonna do is uh, Remington 870 pump action. We're gonna show you three rounds, birdshot, buckshot, and slug. The unique thing about birdshot is we're gonna show you the difference when you shoot it very close versus a little bit further away, how much the energy dissipates. First, we're gonna be doing slug, and uh, the slug on this, it's a rifled slug, kind of your standard heavy, heavy lead slug. All right. Okay, so taking a look at the slug, obviously from here you can already tell what kind of damage that does. It's, uh, it's pretty intense. Slugs usually go through and through, depending the angle. And as, yes, of course, massive damage, and then the slug goes through. Let's check out the other side, because I can already see a hole on the other door. And confirmed, this is why slugs are the most devastating round uh, of the shotgun line. Take a look at this. This is massive energy punching through. Through and through both doors, we haven't had anything like that yet. Uh, let's see what the other rounds do. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do, uh, Buck. This is like, think of your nine mil bullet, but there's multiple of those nine mils inside. They're, they're pretty similar in size. Um, let's see what it does to the vehicle. We're at five yards, and we're gonna aim somewhere in the center of that door, see what it does. All right, let's take a look at what we got here. So we've got this high shot into the door. And this is, this is really what separates buckshot from like a slug or any other round is you have all of those pellets acting as their own separate damage, their own separate bullets. So right now I see one, two, three, four penetrations but who knows how many were behind that. So looking through, yeah, like I said, the angle was pretty high, so we had most of the damage come out the window. Uh, but if you look on the inside, there is a pellet that went in, oh wait, yeah, a pellet that went in here and a pellet that went in here, but the majority of it looks to be like it was higher. All right, so, so the last one we're gonna show uh, with the shotgun is a bird shot. We're gonna do a bird shot at distance and then bird shot close up. Line is hot. I think I see one pellet actually went through. So the door's not opening now, but guess what? Nothing actually went through. So that bird shot really didn't do anything. The people inside would be completely safe, maybe a little bit scared, 
but uh, totally safe inside. Now let's switch it up. Let's take that same bird shot. Let's move him closer, maybe two to three yards. See if it changes the energy. All right, look at the difference. What a difference a little bit of distance makes. So the first shot Angel did was five yards. From two yards away, this all went through into the, into the next space. All the rounds are still so compacted and tight together. There's so much more energy when it hits. It actually punches through the metal. Let's take a look at what the bird shot did on the You can see that at the door. That window is devastation. Anyone inside that would be feeling pain getting shot. All right, the last one we're going to do is the 6.5 Creedmoor. This is a custom gun from Modern Warrior. This thing is very precise out to a thousand yards. Uh, let's see what it does. 6.5 is going to be pretty devastating. Uh, just for anyone who's watching who wants to know, this is Hornaday 147 grain match ammo. Very, very good stuff. On the 6.5 Creedmoor now, let's take a look. That was pretty devastating, we could tell. We saw like a fire flare up on both these pillars. And uh, after examination, they both went through the pillars. So we actually took a shot through this door. We couldn't figure out where it went, but it actually went through the upholstery and stopped on the other pillar. It would have definitely gone through the door, but it actually went through and stopped on the pillar. If you look at this first pillar, the 6.5 went clean through it broke off the plastic on the other side and then if you look at this 6.5 right here it went it, it went clean through it but it actually went off to an angle so it was the side of the pillar but it did go clean through that pillar and uh, where it went through on the other side we're not actually sure but that's the terrifying thing about uh, being stuck in a car where bullets are going through is you just don't know where those rounds are going to go things are going to explode glass is going to break and parts are going to go flying if you took nothing away from this video but one thing, I hope that it's the doors and the windows do not provide any value of protection. Whatever you see in the movies or whatever you see uh, police doing because they have ballistic panels is not what you should be doing necessarily at home. Whatever car you have is going to be different maybe than this particular car, but it gives you an idea that the doors and the trunk, the hood, the roof are places you don't want to be when guns are being fired and uh, the pillars pillars are your safety if you ever come into such a circumstance. So if you like what you saw, go ahead and check out USCCA for more. We have a lot more videos coming up on vehicle defense. We'd love to hear from you guys. Let us know in the comments section what kind of rounds you want to see us testing, what kind of vehicles you want to see us testing. If you want to donate a vehicle, let us know. We haven't shot a Tesla yet, and I think that'd be pretty fun to shoot. But uh, never forget, make sure you guys are training because above all this, uh, training is how you get better. It's how you move forward. It's how you progress.